If you are a newbie to step up transformers like me, some background information might be helpful if you are considering this type of device for your record playback system. There is not a lot of information about these devices, which contributes to their mystique. Audiophile magazines don't often cover this subject. Product reviews and comparisons are difficult as their sonic attributes are dependent upon other components such as the phono cartridge, turntable, and phono preamp. The late Art Dudley wrote a couple of articles for Stereophile in 2007, listening number 907 and 1007. In 2007, SUTs seem to be customized for particular cartridges. Since then, SUTs offer a range of settings that accommodate a majority of moving coil cartridges on the market today. This device is an electrical transformer which uses electromagnetic induction to amplify a signal that is presented to the primary coil. The output is obtained from the secondary coil. This is done passively, namely there is no external power required. The Lundahl instruction manual states it is difficult to amplify the microvolt level signals present at the output of most moving coil cartridges without adding audible noise. However, a step-up transformer can do the job admirably without adding any perceivable noise. The only problem is to identify a transformer that is of sufficiently high quality that it does so without degrading the signal quality in the process. The Lundahl LL 1931 Phono SUT provides 18 or 24 dB of gain, selectable via two miniature toggle switches. The 18 dB setting works with cartridges requiring from 200 to 600 ohms of load impedance. The 24 dB setting works with cartridges from 20 to 160 ohms of load impedance. Other models in the family offer higher levels of amplification. Here are some guidelines on when to use this device. If you have a standalone phono RIAA preamp or a phono section built into an integrated amplifier that supports only moving magnet cartridges, you can use an SUT to amplify the output of the moving coil cartridge to a sufficient level so that it can use the moving magnet phono input. If you have a phono preamp that supports both moving magnet and moving coil cartridges, you have the option of using an SUT to passively amplify the output of the moving coil cartridge and then use the moving magnet phono input. The kit from VK Music included the following. Two Lundahl LL 1931 transformers, a printed circuit board with Lundahl MC Step Up and other labels on one side of the board, two miniature toggle switches, four solder pins that allow insertion of different loading resistors, and one four pin connector with two grounding straps. Two should have been provided, so I had to improvise and make one up using an IC socket. The instruction manual is actually for a K&K &K audio version of the printed circuit board and does not apply to the Lundahl printed circuit board. The switches and grounding strap locations are different between the two printed circuit boards. Additional parts required by the kit builder include an electronic enclosure box. Mine is 140 by 102 by 73 millimeter two pairs of RCA jacks, a binding post for the external ground connection of the phono cable from the turntable, four standoffs, 35 millimeter in length, two R-load resistors of the correct value for your moving coil cartridge. The instruction manual includes a list of resistor values required to meet the load impedance requirements of your cartridge. Assembly time should be in the order of a couple of hours, depending on your soldering skill.
First, drill the correct diameter holes in the enclosure box for the binding post and RCA jacks. Place the miniature switches and grounding connectors on the printed circuit board side with the white lettering and solder from the other side. Place the transformers on the underside of the printed circuit board and solder the contacts from the top. Solder 1 inch hookup wires to the binding post and RCA jacks. Place the assembled printed circuit board into the enclosure box using standoffs to secure the board to the enclosure. From the instruction manual, find the resistor value that will provide the recommended loading impedance for your cartridge and insert two resistors of the proper value into the two slots marked R load. The instruction manual states Lundahl MCSUT provides for complete flexibility with regard to grounding. For most applications, the shorting plug should be used so that the input ground, labeled primary, and the output ground, labeled secondary, and the case ground, the external ground point, are tied together. If you own the rare tone arm that is wired to RCA plugs with a shielded twisted signal pair and the shield connected to the tone arm ground, then you can remove the primary ground connection. If your phono preamp has real balanced inputs via XLR connectors, then you can also remove the secondary ground. Without any ground straps, however, I found the SUT provided a monophonic output. Your situation may be different. There are a number of tests that you can perform. The Lundahl transformers are shielded and have an internal coil construction that is inherently less sensitive to external magnetic fields. A useful tool for detecting electromagnetic fields is a smartphone app called the Ultimate EMF Detector. A smartphone itself will generate electromagnetic fields as well as radio frequencies and so its own latent electromagnetic field is around 31. If I move this closer to the speaker magnets, you can see that the value goes up substantially. The Lundell step-up transformer, uh, it should also generate electromagnetic fields. So while there's an increase, it is not very high. You can also do a noise level comparison. Using a smartphone sound level app placed near a speaker, at maximum amplifier volume with the phono input selected but no signal applied, you will hear noise at your speakers. Compare the noise levels of the two setups. This would be the noise from the moving coil amplifier section of the phono preamp. The difference between the two noise level readings is an indication of how much noise reduction is possible using an SUT. At maximum volume, there is more than a 10 dB reduction in noise level using the SUT plus moving magnet setup. Lundahl recommends a burn-in period of 48 hours before the transformers reach their steady state operating condition. This SUT has around 24 hours of burn-in time. Conclusions the SUT is a low noise passive amplifier that provides gain to the signal of a moving coil cartridge so that one can use a moving magnet phono preamp. 
With a highly resolving record playback system, this device may reveal more detail from the record grooves and provide a more engaging listening experience. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you were able to find some useful information to help improve the performance of your audio system and enhance your music listening experience.